Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my one month results on Obaji. And I'll be showing you my before and after pictures of 30 days on the Obaji system. And I'm really excited about that because I think I've had some fabulous results. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in making your second half the best half in body, mind, beauty, and spirit, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that bell to be notified of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, and or share it with a friend, that would be great too. Okay, let's get into this. I have now experienced 30 days on this Obaji system, and this is a system that involves 4% prescription strength hydroquinone plus tretinoin, also known as Retin-A, at least that's the brand name of it. And I got this system at my local esthetician's office, and it was very much on sale, and I finally decided I was going to do something about the pigmentation that I've had across my forehead, and I'll show you in just a few moments. It has lightened up quite significantly in 30 days, but it was pretty bad, and I'll show you the before and after pictures very soon. But this is a quick look at this, and I won't be showing you the peeling results because in the first four weeks of this, you get pretty intense peeling, and I think there's a better video out there that shows you a detailed journal of what the Obaji system is like to go through, and that is with Melissa55, and for those of you who don't know her, she's a beautiful 60 plus YouTuber who swears by Obaji, and I'll link to her video below where she shows you what that three month term on Obaji is like, and it is snake-like peeling, and I can attest to that having just been through it. But basically, this is the system in a nutshell, and it's very easy, and each bottle tells you AM and PM, and it tells you like you use this first, and this is the foaming gel, and this is the toner. And then at this point, I break and I use a great vitamin C product and it is incredible. And I'm going to link that video below because if you have not seen that video, you need to see it because it is the first vitamin C I have ever used in the three years I've been on YouTube where I could really tell that it brought on a super glow to my skin. It brought intense little peels that you couldn't really see, but it really exfoliates. And anyway, that's off the subject, but please see that video below if you're interested in the best vitamin C out there. And it's only $14. It's amazing. But anyway, I put that vitamin C preparation on my skin and let it dry. And then I go in in the AM and the PM with this clean, which is again a 4% hydroquinone. And then I go in in the morning only with this Exfoderm Forte. And I believe this is a little glycolic acid here, which helps exfoliate those dead skin cells. And then the fifth one is called Blender. And this is just in the evening. And you mix this, a little pea-sized drop of this, with your Tretin Owen. And this is a little paper box here, an empty box. It's a placeholder for Tretin Owen, which you can get from a licensed professional like a plastic surgeon or something like that. I just use the same Tretin Owen that I've always purchased online. And I'll try to link to that below. It's a very inexpensive way to get your Tretinoin. And then there are two other bottles here, which I have not been using. And this is the AM and PM Hydrate, which is the Obaji Moisturizer. I don't know why I haven't been using that, but I just haven't really felt the need for it. And this is the Obaji Sunblock, which I'm excited to try, but I've been using another sunblock and I just did not grab this. So anyway, that's a quick look at the system. Now I'm going to show you my one month results. And then when I'm finished at the three month point, I will show you those results. And hydroquinone is just a little bit controversial in this country. It is FDA approved in this country, but in some other countries it isn't because there is the rare chance that long-term use of hydroquinone at a higher strength can cause kind of bluish black pigmentation called ochronosis, I think. But anyway, I don't want that. And they say, really, you should just stay on hydroquinone for three months at a time and then take three to five, six months off. And I do plan to do that. Okay, now I'm going to show you my results. And I wanna preface this by saying, I tried to make the before and the after pictures in exactly the same lighting. As you can see, when you're going to see the pictures, it's in the same studio and I used exactly the same lighting setup. So that should be the same. And I tried to keep the exact same facial expressions so you could get a good idea of the before equaling the after and see the actual changes. But again, this is not a scientific setting and I just did the best I could. And I will also say there is no retouching on any of these photographs before or after. Okay, here are my 30-day Obaji results. Okay, the before picture on the left was taken on June 16th, 
And as you can see in that before picture, on my forehead, I have a great deal of pigmentation all along that hairline there. It is very darkish red, darkish brown. And then in the after picture, almost two months later, just a few days shy of two months later, that pigmentation is really lightening up. In fact, my whole face just has a more light look to it. In the before picture, my all over skin tone is kind of orangey, and that is really left to my own devices. What I will do is I turn orangey brown almost with no sun exposure at all because I never get out into the sun and I do wear daily sunblock. But in the after picture, my whole face has just brightened up. It looks a lot brighter, a lot lighter. And again, the pigmentation on the forehead is starting to decrease, at least in my opinion. Now under that right eye, in the before picture, you can see I've got some dark pigmentation under that eye, in the corner of that eye. And then in the after picture, that has really significantly lightened up. Now the cheek arrow there is really just pointing out some large pores that I had. And that just might be a difference in the oiliness of my skin before and after, I don't know. But in the second picture, it looks like those pores are getting smaller. But again, that could just be a different time of the day. And in the first picture, I had a lot of oil on my skin. Now in the bottom arrow, it points to my chin. And I hadn't really realized before using Obagi that I did have dark pigmentation along my chin. But as you can see in the June 19th picture, my chin had a lot of pigmentation. In the after picture, that is significantly lightening up. Now let's go and look at some side views of my face. And first we'll look at the right side. And you really can't see a lot of pigmentation in either the before or the after. But on the 619th, the June 19th picture, the forehead does have more pronounced darkness there. And then in the after picture, the forehead area is lightening up. Now let's take a look at the left side. And again, on the forehead on June 19th, there is more darker pigmentation. And then two months later on July 15th, that is lightening up to a great extent. Now there's also one little thing in that picture that I was surprised by. And here it is, and you have to look kind of close. But in that June 19th picture, that bottom arrow points to a little darkish mole that I had on my face. And then on the July 15th picture, I really can't find that little darkened area. So obviously, whatever that brown spot was on my cheek, it is lightening up through the Obagi system. Now, in conclusion, I will say the first month was hard to get through because really my skin looked red and inflamed and very peely much of the first month. But now it is looking much more calmed down and I'm getting kind of a glow from it, which I really do appreciate. And at the end of my Obagi course of treatment, which will be two or three months, depending upon how long my products last, I had a few products left from the last time I tried Obagi and did not stick with it. So all in all, I'll probably go a little longer than the three month time frame. But after that is over, I really do intend to lay off the hydroquinone, to lay off the Obagi, and I will be trying some more natural lighteners and I'll show you how that works too. And again, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in joining the 50 plus family here, we're all in this together to make our second half the best half in body, mind, and spirit. I hope you'll click that little bell and subscribe and or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, at this point in the video, I usually read from a card and do a little positive thought for the day. But I've had something go on in my personal life that I wanted to share with you because I think it really does relate to all of us in our second half. And that is that Alan's father has been going through a really, really, really severe medical crisis. He now has lung cancer and it is really a tough period for him. I hope he's able to pull through this, but unfortunately he has been through a lot of different largely lifestyle related diseases. He's had diabetes, a couple of heart attacks. He's had a couple of cancers. It is really bad, all the things that he's gone through, but I have to say he has gotten through everyone just beautifully and we are certainly hoping and praying that he gets through this latest issue, but he is 90 years old. And seeing him go through this latest health challenge at age almost 90 reminds us that all of us hopefully will reach our late 80s someday, our early 90s, something like that, and that the things we do now on a daily basis really do determine what our aging process is going to look like on that end. And so I guess my thought for the day is take some time, you know, write it down or at least think about it and think, how do I want my life to be when I'm 88, 90, 92, 94? How healthy do I want to be? How active do I want to be? And then when you have that picture in your mind of yourself at an advanced age, then ask yourself quite honestly, 
to list those things that you need to do today, those actions you need to take today to ensure that excellent outcome on the other end in 20 to 30 years. Because when all of us live today, keeping that end point in mind, it helps us make maybe more difficult choices today, but more health-related choices that ensure a much better outcome years down the road. And friends, I have been doing this, and I hope you'll join me if you haven't done it yet, Figure out the picture of how you want your life to look at 90 and then figure out the things you need to do today. The somewhat difficult things like improving your diet, improving your exercise, getting relaxation, getting sleep, all of those things that will contribute to a better you in the future, you need to start doing today. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.